Exif data or metadata is information stored in your photo from your camera. As this is written data, it's really small and it's kept automatically in your RAW file or JPEG. It's normally the camera and lens combo, aperture, shutter speed and ISO, as well as if the flash is fired and things like the focal length and the time that you have set in your camera. There are a lot of other settings as well in your EXIF data, but these are the main ones. And it's because of this store data that programs like Lightroom will show you all of your settings. The word EXIF is actually based on the exchangeable image file format standard. They've just shortened it into that name, but it's also known as the metadata of your file. When you upload your image to a website like Flickr, if you've ever kind of heard of it, or if you still use it, you will see this data displayed. And it can be quite interesting to work out how the person took the photo. And this is a really good learning tool. You can also view your EXIF data in any photo editing software, and also in most web browsers with a plugin. And these plugins are great if you don't want to open the whole of the editing software, and you just need to see how you took that shot. When exporting your images, you can choose what data is saved in the image in the export page of say Lightroom or most other editing programs. Now you may want to scrub all of your data from the image or you might want to keep it all there. The only downside is that if someone screen grabs your image, none of this data will be transferred to that screen grab. But the EXIF data is basically a lot of settings you had in your camera at the time of taking it saved into that image. Now, if you want to learn more about photography, click on this next video here. And if you want to learn how to come out of auto in your camera, click on this video down here. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more weekly content. And I'll see you next time.